Um, hello, everyone. I am Nadir. Um, I'm going to talk about how a specific application of AI, which is machine translation, is causing us a lot of trouble uh, in our small Wikipedia. Uh, to be fair, maybe machine translation works uh, better for some languages, for some language groups than others, say from English to German or vice versa. But in the case of the Uzbek Wikipedia, it is simply horrible. Um, and I will give you examples about it. But first things first, uh, what I love about such conferences is that uh, some you know amazing collaboration can happen. Uh, I gave a, uh, another lightning talk uh, before the break, and I have already received uh, feedback from a German uh, user who was uh, watching online and has proposed to <laughs> help to close the content gap that I discussed in my previous uh, presentation. Um, so. Um, the reason I guess we have had so much uh, trouble with machine translation is largely attributable to the giant project, three-year project that's being funded by the government of Uzbekistan. Uh, it's an interesting story. We went from being banned in Uzbekistan to being supported by the government. Uh, if I may say so, it only took a dictator to die uh, for that change to happen. Um, I hope I won't get into trouble for saying that. but. Um, uh, um, um, so we have re uh, achieved good results, but this talk is not is not about that. It's specifically about the challenge uh, we uh, challenge we're facing, one of the biggest challenges we're facing, uh, which boils down to quality versus quantity. The organizers have offered literally thousands of dollars as prizes for participants. And you know you can see where this is going. People want money, easy money, and what they what they have been doing is creating enormous amounts of machine translated content that we have simply been unable to cope with. Um, and this uh, quote from uh, from Mar uh, from uh, Maria Maria's presentation resonated uh, uh, with me. So you know this content translation tool is supposed to help users translate from one language into another. I think it relies on Google Translate and Yandex. Uh, not, I don't know much about it, but on I think at least on Meta or on the English Wikipedia, you know, one of the principles is that it encourages quality of translations. I mean, I would say it encourages <laughs> poor quality translations, to be honest, in at least in our specific case. So I'll give you an example. This is an uh, this is an excerpt from an English Wikipedia article about a dappen dish or dappen glass. Uh, which is, is apparently used uh, in dentistry, you know, for mixing dental medicaments or fillings. This is an AI, uh, AI generated image of the dish. And this is what the Uzbek translation said. Um, eyeglasses are uh, used in dentistry, you know, uh, vessels for mixing dental medicaments. Um, so, and this is how I guess in practice it would look like if you use eyeglasses to mix your dental fillings. Um, <laughs> And people noticed, right? We didn't have uh, an amazing reputation to begin with. And here, uh, people on Twitter are saying, you know, we the Uzbek Wikipedia is a pile of garbage um, because you know we were celebrating our three hundred thousand mi uh, uh, milestone, and they and they were right to kind of criticize some of the content. And others were saying, you know, oh, why so much money spending on this uh, horrible uh, content on Wikipedia? And there are like literally dozens more. Uh, criticism. So what, what's being done? Uh, we're, first of all, rather late, uh, I led the effort to revise our speedy deletion criteria to specifically say, if it's machine translation, you do not discuss it, you just delete it, you know, because that's the only way we could cope with all the uh, thousands of articles that were being created. And I have led the efforts to create a, a table of users who have abused the machine translation tool and we have 75 confirmed people who have created hundreds of uh, machine translated articles, which, which are ridiculous, uh, to be honest. One said that uh, the first uh, uh, female athlete from Uzbekistan who won a gold medal uh, at the Paris uh, Olympics, the article said uh, that she had taken part in a world war. Um, so that's the quality of the translation that I'm talking about. So we had to limit the content translation tool to uh, users to experienced users. I led that effort. Uh, we had to make a request on Fabricator, and they took forever to respond, but they did. Thank you. Um, and you know, we've been 
trying to kind of do some cleanup work even while the marathon is running. So, you know, it's just an uphill struggle for, for us. Um, and that's where we stand. Um, you know, uh, I, if you have any suggestions on what else can be done, I would be happy to hear, but that's where we stand and thank you very much. Experienced users, what they have been doing is copy that into Google Translate, uh, move it to the Google Wikipedia without the intermediaries. It's even worse in a sense, but at least fewer people are doing it. So, for, we have the same problem on the Tagalog Wikipedia. The difference is that, I guess, the Uzbek Wikipedia is on the Tagalog Wikipedia. If we know that an article is being translated, we read the article on site. Is that the case as well as the Uzbek Wikipedia? Yeah. Or do you inform the user who creates the article regarding the people given the As of July, we have no time or energy to inform anyone. We'll be just deleting. But if, if it's a, a user who is at least with some effort to fix some of the mistakes, I you personally go to the top page and say, hey, please try to fix up all the terms. This is wrong. And just I give them a specific example. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.